All right, so in this video, what we're gonna be doing is making our UDT for our recipe. Now, um, what we've done to, uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of overview is uh, real quick, I've added in our mixing section, our mixing routine, I've added some uh, controls, basically manual controls for AVO3 and automatic controls for AVO3 and also manual controls and automatic controls for AVO4. Now I've done that to coincide with the pre-mix stuff because we're doing request on and I figured, you know, we've already done a lot of controls and stuff like that. It's the same exact controls, basically copy and pasted, and then the tags changed. So I didn't want to actually, you know, come back and duplicate that again. Same programming pattern as we've done in the past videos. So if you wanted to reference that, you could go back and watch those videos, but it's doing the same thing. This in, goes into saying if the batch is active, we're doing a request on an AVO3. And an AVO3 is on, we're going to cut on AVO4. Uh, one. Now this request is going to be what we're using to turn on the AVO3 valve. Okay, so when that valve is on, then it will turn on AVO. See, follow this back. When this valve is on, it will turn on the actual uh, AVO1. So you see that. You see how that works and you see how fluent that is. It's really easy. I just wanted to briefly describe that because I just threw in some rough controls in here just to kind of go and get that, that process started. Now, what I want to talk to you about now is the actual recipe, right? So we're, we're going to start our recipe stuff now because it's, when we're getting into the mixer controls, we need to have a recipe value because when it comes to mixing, you need to have all your stuff together. So to start that off, we're going to do a UDT. And the UDTs are down here in Studio 5000. We're going to come down here and do our, this is going to be an asset, and we're going to go to data types, and we're going to make a user defined. So user defined data type. We're going to click new. But first, before we click new, we want to understand what are the elements that we want to use in our recipe. So what are some key components that we want to call up in our recipe? We want to call up the name of the recipe for one, right? And then we want to call up the amount of caffeine we're using, the amount of master batch we're using, the amount of corn syrup that we're using. We also want to call up the time limit of how long the mix should actually be mixing. And we want to call up the speed of the mixer. Now another key component or another two key components that I would like to use is the speed of the actual pumps, right? So we want to have all of the, the proper amount of you know caffeine added to the to the mix we want to have the proper amount of mix our master uh, recipe added to the mix the, we want to have a, a proper amount of corn syrup added to the recipe and then we want to control that based upon the pump speeds and then we want to mix that up in a proper amount of time right here based upon a proper amount of speed right so that's just some key components to our recipe that we want to add into it and we'll go ahead and do that now so Briefly to coming in here, you, what you're going to do is go down to assets. You're going to go to data types. We're going to go to user defined. Click new. This is where we're going to give it a name. So this is a new data type we will be making for our, our system. We're going to call this recipe. Okay. And then we're going to come in here. First, we want to give it a name. And this is just a tag value that's going to be part of this user defined data that we're making. And now the data type that we're going to be using is going to be, in this case for the name, is going to be a string value. Now the string, we haven't really talked about the data type of a string before, but the string is just a, uh, the characters to give it, to, for you to enter in a name and for it to actually have a name and it will be a characteristic of, you know, like A, B, C, D and stuff of that nature. It will not be numbers, nothing like that. It will actually be characters. So uh, we have a... Uh, and this will come in as recipe dot or whatever the tag name dot name, right? And this is going to be the next one we're going to add is the amount of. So we're going to do the amount of, and then we'll say this master batch. So the amount of the master batch. And we're going to do the amount of, we're going to do a real because we want to have a decimal point, okay? Um, we don't have to have a decimal point, but I feel like that in the best practice, you can have a decimal point for any type of amount you want to run. So we'll do an amount of, and then, but you could do a, uh, you don't have to use a decimal point, so you could actually use a dent. Uh, so in this instance, you could use a dent as well. 
So we'll do the amount of syrup. So again, we want to use a real. And the next one will be the amount of caffeine. And then the next one, and then we'll type in, just type in real. You don't have to select the button over here. You can just type it in and it will take. Um, now the next one we want to have is the pump speed. So we'll say speed of, and then we'll say pump one. This one, um, again, when we come down to it, we can have this as a dent. It's perfectly fine uh, because, again, we could actually have it as a reel, but a uh, dent or reel, uh, we're not really using a decimal point on the on the speed of the pump. So when it comes down to it, that's just that much simpler. Um, so it, you could use either or. I mean, I just want to kind of highlight that and kind of mix it up a little bit to, just to show you the variability of, of both, right? So this will be a dent not a so and you can't type it in wrong so if you do hap happen to type it in wrong it will not pick and not select so just in case you've seen that if I type that right there it will not be able to select anything right so but if I do dent it easily selects that right so it knows the data types and it knows so if you accidentally do a typo just like I just did no worries it will actually pop in right so just to kind of show you guys that so um, the next one is going to be the speed of mixer. So again, we talked about that. So this will be a dent. And then the last one will be the time of mix. And then that will be a dent as well because the dent, now the mix time being a dent is very important, I think, because the simple fact of a timer is not going to be using a decimal point, right? So the fact of it being a real value is going to automatically convert it to a decimal point or not use a decimal point anyway. So it's best just to use it as a dent. So when it comes to it, we'll hit apply. Now we have created our first UDT. Now we come down here and we'll see that we have our recipe UDT. We come into our recipe over here and just to make the tag what we'll do just simply so you see it we'll come over here and uh, add in a move value we're not actually going to use this but we're just going to show you the how you you can actually make the tag and use the UDT that you made so um, just keep in mind you're making a new tag and a new instance of each one of these UDTs that you made so in this case we'll call this uh, generic and then for like a generic recipe or whatever the case may be and then this data type we would come over here and we could come and scroll down here but you would have to scroll all the way down to module defined and then UDTs and stuff of that nature our UDTs right here you can select it right here the easiest and e easiest thing to do is just to come over here and type in recipe if you know what it is. Now this is going to be an instance of that recipe so this is going to be using that data type so when I create this it's going to create every one of those okay so now if I go over here and monitor you're gonna see that I have an instance of each one of these okay so I have the caffeine I have the name right here I have the amount of caffeine, the amount of uh, master batch, amount of syrup. I have the the mixing, uh, the speed of the mixer. I have the speed of pump one, pump two, and the time to mix. Now to talk about this, let's do the caffeine. Let's add 25. And we're gonna come in here and add this in factory talk, so no worries, I'm just giving some rough values right now. So this is uh, 25, and then we'll call this master batch, we'll call this 250. Uh, 225 let's just yeah let's do 250 let's just say that and then this will be syrup would be let's just say 125 and then we'll call this this is going to be again the uh, tag name the name value was a string so we're gonna call this generic soda and then we're gonna hit apply and that will give the actual name now the speed of the mixer is again the a dent so we're going to put in a 50 
for the speed of 50. We'll put in a speed of 25 for the speeds for the pumps. So we'll put in 25 for that. And the mixing time, I want to break this down in the calculator uh, because it's, it's just better that way. The timer is going to be, you know, in, in the thousands. So first, if you think about the calculator, right, it's easy just to come in here and just put in 1,000. And I'm doing this for simplicity's sake, right, just to show you. 1,000, and we think about this, if you're doing like minutes or you're doing, like say for instance, one minute, you would say times 60 seconds. So this would give you the value that you need to put in for one minute if you had one minute of mixing time. See if we had 10 minutes, so let's just say we had 10 minutes of mixing time, now we just times this by 10. And this would be our value. And we can just merely copy this and put it in here. So make sure we clear that and paste that in there. And that would be the uh, value for 10 minutes. Now it's just that simple just to do that. And just to check your math, you can come in here and you know, divide it by 10. This would give one minute again. Divide that by 60 seconds and this would give you the value for one second again in control logics. So control logics again, keep in mind one second is 1000. So this is why I'm making it simplicity sake. I'm, I'm using the calculator to show you just how easy it is to calculate the value. Uh, generally speaking, I just go ahead and type it in and just change it that way. But again, after using it for uh, several different times and, and having a, a easy way to explain it, it's easier to do with a calculator the very first time. So that's why we're doing it. Now, we've already made our uh, tag, we've made our UDT, we've explained everything we're doing. Now, in the very next video, what we're gonna do is actually go into Factory Talk and make use Recipe Pro Plus, and we're going to actually upload this data, and we're going to use this as a template and start making our recipes. So, with all this said, we'll conclude this, and again, I wanna make these videos short, sweet, to the point, and actually exactly to what we're trying to do to stair step into what we're doing so that you get a full comprehensive learning. Now with this said, uh, we'll go ahead and conclude this video and we'll see you guys on the next one.